<laughs> Mount Cook. What a day. It's half seven in the morning. I'm uh, up the Ahariri Valley. Um, this is Mount Bath. I drove up here last night in the Lantragini and uh, just slept up here last night up up after work today looks like a good day so um yeah the plan is to fly from up here which is um the track that leads into the dingle band so i'm going to walk up here and i'm going to probably traverse the ridge a little and then fly from somewhere up here and um then the plan is to try and fly north and over mount bath and um try and get into the hopkins and maybe beyond cool so i just found a takeoff Yahuri River and that's Mount Bath and this is looking down into the Dingleburn that's the Dingleburn down there I've just realized I've left my phone cable in the car <laughs> oh, which is annoying um, I'm not the end of the world I can still fly without uh, having my phone but the, the phone gives me information uh, glide ratio ground speed climb rate um i can get um i still have my vario which tells me when i'm going up um that would be a bugger if i didn't have that but um yeah oh what a, what a way to start oh, it's definitely working dust down there. pretty much straight into five meters per second so probably could have started Half an hour earlier. This is Mount Bath. And there's Mount Huxley at the head of this valley. And the big one right at the back is the biggest mountain in New Zealand. Mount Cook. So it'd be cool if I can make it there. Actually, just uh, still on my way up out of the Ahuriri. Feels like there's some like easterly or is it southerly pushing me more over towards the Huxleys up high. But yeah, so I'm on top of the ridge now, so I'd like to just try and stay above the ridge and keep pushing in uh, the direction of the Newman Range. So just coming into the Hopkins, it'd be good to get a climb here before crossing onto the Newman Ring. That's the North Huxley branch. I reckon maybe when I come around this corner, it's more into the sun, might, might be better. I'm crossing the Hopkins. As hard as I could before crossing, um, just trying to make sure that I would make the climb. But um, it's looking like I'm going to come in above that spur, so I got a climb there the last time I was here. Um, but yeah, it's going good. It's 10 to 1, um, and I'm already crossing the Hopkins. It's oh, getting up on the Newman. Oh, I've bloody looked on through. It's sheathing on the brake line. It's just the sheathing, but still. They're amazing. Check out the view. The very Mount Cook in the distance. Crossing the Dobson. Now we're uh, gonna try and get up the Benoit House and keep going. Epic. It's 1.30, so there's still plenty of day left.
I'm gonna keep heading up this way and see if I can uh, I'll cross a bit further up because I glide across the valley quite long here. Bloody hell. My bre the sheathing of my brake line has come off. My bag has opened during flight and I nearly lost my camel bag. I managed to catch it and pull it back up again. Pull my fucking reserve had come out. I forgot my phone cable. So I'm just using the inReach. So everything's going wrong, but the flying's going right. And I'm just crossing the Tasman and going to try and get up on the other side and try and go up the jolly, I guess. I hope I haven't dropped anything else. The Jolly River. I'm in the jolly. Look at the color of the rock. Be different, eh? It's quite hard, thermally, with the camelback balanced on your stomach. That's the Cass River, Lake Tekapo. The Godley's on the other side of that ridge. I'll be stoked to make the Godley. Oh, pretty, uh, pretty remote up here. I mean, I'm not too far from Tekapo, I guess. Well, look at this country, it's so dry. And the rocks are like pink. Amazing. I'm going to be able to cross the Godly, Godly Lakes up there. And it's the Sybil. Stay on the ring on the other side. And behind that, two thumbs. Oh, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get this far, but I guess I'll keep going. Crossing the Godly! The head of Lake Tekapo, Godly Lakes up there. We're a chamois down there. That's all. Yeah, look at it. Like, what are they even eating up there? It's still on. It's the two thumbs. And I think it's uh, Pavlock River on the other side. My geography's a bit rusty up this far. If I'm being honest, I haven't really planned on getting this far, but I'm pretty sure that's the Havelock River. And uh, I think the other one would be the Clyde. But I'm not 100%. But that, that must be Erewhon Station then, I guess. Oh, 
was such a magic day. That's the Lawrence River, Mount Arrowsmith. Um, what a day. I think it's just after five o'clock. Um, I don't know what to do. Keep going, I guess. I don't know um, how deep I want to go because I don't really know what's fallen out of my bag. There's a station down there. Oh, might be the end of the road here. This is the last, last, uh, last chance. Oh, I'm going backwards. Holy shit. Loads of shit. Poles. Oh, at least the tents here. What a. Oh, so much went on in that flight. So, before I took off, I realised I didn't have my phone cable. So, two power banks, but no means to charge my phone. So, that's annoying. Um, then I flew and it was good. Um, then I got to. On the. Newman range, and I realised that my brake line had come unsheathed just from the where where through the pulley. I mean, I know I, I've been flying in some rough air, but Jesus Christ, so the, the brake sheathing like gone on the brakes. And then when I'm just getting on top of the Ben O'House and thinking about gliding across, the, my harness, the bag, the back of my harness just, like pops open. Fucking everything falls out. So I, I nearly lost the camel bag, but I, it managed to like just cling on to me somehow. And um, but I lost a pair of hiking poles, I lost my hat, I lost some electronics, some cables, some power banks, um, or I lost the sausage bag to pack up my glider. So it's just kind of like stuffed in my bag. Oh, nightmare. But, but the longest flight I just couldn't stop. I was like, oh, I might as well keep going. Like, stopping is not going to solve anything. I still have everything I need to get out again, so crazy. So now it's just the, the mission of trying get, to get back to the car begins.